Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at PC Linux OS. It's not based on anything. It's a classic independent distro. But before we get started, please like and subscribe the video. That way you can be entered into the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that we are doing on August 31st, 2021. PC Linux OS. This has been around a while. This is the KDE version of it. What we're going to do first is just take a look around. Let's go over here and open the file manager. File manager opens up. It is Dolphin. As you can see, it is the light theme. But you've got your home, desktop, documents, downloads. You've got everything that you generally have in file manager. And you can move them around. You can grab one and move it up. You can change the order of these to better suit your needs for what you're doing. So let's close out of that. We have also got configure your computer. When you open this up, you get the PC Linux OS Control Center. You can install and remove software. It does use Synaptic Package Manager and it does use apt for the RPM repositories. But other than that, it's an independent. It is not based on Ubuntu, it's not based on Arch. It's completely built in and of itself. And it's pretty impressive. But when you get into the Control Center, You've got Software Manager, you've got Sharing, you can configure your FTP right here, or you can configure your web server right there. You've got Network Services, you can configure your DHCP, configure a DNS, configure Proxy, configure Time, or Open SSH Daemon Configuration. Hardware. You can browse your hardware and configure it. You can change your sound configuration. You can set up a graphical server. You can set up a keyboard layout, set up a mouse pointer device. You can configure and mount and set up printers, set up a scanner, or set up a UPS for power monitoring. Then you can go to system. You've got authentication services, manage system services by enabling or disabling them. This is really comes in handy on laptops. If you've got services that are running in the background that aren't necessary, you can shut these off right here. Manage, add, and remove fonts. Import Windows fonts right here by the click of a button. Manage date and time. Manage localization for your system. View and search system logs. Open a console as administrator. Manage users on a system. Import Windows documents. Then you've got network sharing. You can access a Windows SMB shared drive right here. You can share drives and directories with Windows right here. Access NFS shared drives, shared drives and directories using NFS. Access WebDAV shared drives and directories. Local disk, you can manage your partitions right here. You can share your hard disk partitions here. Security, you can set up your personal firewall, configure authentication tools, and then boot. You can set up auto login to automatically log in, set up a boot system, set up display manager. You can go in Xorg and make changes if necessary. That is the PC Linux OS Control Center. We can go over here, we can right click. Obviously you can get access to your desktops or your wallpapers right here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this one. You can adjust your mouse actions, location of your desktop folder, icons, filter, and about let's close that and let's go over here and we got KDE system settings let's open that up you've got appearance quick settings let's see if we can change it to a dark mode let's go with breeze dark guys so let's apply that there we go application style you can come in here and change all your application windows the way you like them plasma style currently it's on the breeze but you can change it to oxygen or breeze light or air and if you don't like those as always you can come right down here download them colors, window decorations, full customization of the operating system the way you want it. Icons, we're presently using the breeze dark, I'm going to leave that. Cursors, I think I will go ahead and switch it to the oxygen yellow for now and we'll use that one. Font management and then of course you can adjust your splash screen from the oxygen or the breeze and if you don't like it, all of these right here you can get new splash screens, you can get new fonts, cursors, icons, there is a plethora out there to choose from. So let's go back to all settings. You've got quick settings, workspace behavior, window management. You've got all the basic same settings you're going to have inside a Linux distribution. You've got your KDE wallet, input devices, 
and we can get some system information right here. Let's pull that up. It's presently running 5.84 KDE framework. QT version is 5.15, kernel version 5.13.7, and graphics platform X11. Processors two that I've assigned it, and then four gigabytes of RAM. So let's close out of that. There's your Synaptic package manager. Pretty much anything you need to find or install, you can find on Synaptic. If it's not there, you can find it online and install it from terminal but generally most of what you're going to need is right in here you can check installed packages go over here and click on that or you can check installed local or obsolete what's good about the local or obsolete when you check installed it'll give you the list of packages and if they are obsolete and you don't need them no more it'll show it to you show if it's broken that way you can delete it get it off your system and clean up some room so let's close that out let's look at the base applications that we get with it we're going to start off with more applications. You've got CPUX, HTOP. Let's see what HTOP says we're running. At rest, this KDE environment is running at 698 megs of the 3.8 gigs I've assigned it. My Manjaro runs at about 1.2 or 1.3 at rest. So PC Linux OS is actually using 500 megs less at rest than a Manjaro install. That's pretty impressive. So let's close out of that. Let's go up to more applications. You've got console, you've got KSIS guard, and XKill. Archiving. You've got ARC, free file sync, GR sync, real time sync, and you get time shift. With time shift, this is awesome. This is a way to back up your system the first time you do it. It will make a complete snapshot of your whole system. Okay? And then the next time you do it, it will only detect what has changed in your system and only take a snapshot of that so you're not taking these huge size files and completely stacking them on your system the first one will be regular size then after that they will be smaller and incremental just taking note of things that have changed on your system that way if you have issues or there's something wrong and you completely break your OS you can come into time shift and fix it go back over to archive and configuration configure your computer configure your printer install PC Linux OS KDE system settings K wallet NTFS configuration tool redo bootloader wireless regulatory domain you've got editors K write file to file tools bleach bit DD copy G parted my live USB you can make live USBs right in here you got I'll riot solitaire K mahjong Knights Sudoku, graphics, you got Gwynview, Krita, Scanlight, Spectacle, Internet, you got AnyDesk, FileZilla, Firefox, KTorrent, which is your torrent downloading program, MegaSync Cloud Storage. I don't hear people talk enough about this. MegaSync, I've been with them for a little over three years. I've got 50 gigabytes of free online storage. Now I think they offer you 50 gigabytes for the first months, and after that, you get 15 gigabytes. But the beauty of it is it's encrypted end to end, which means going from your computer to their site and then from their site to you is encrypted. Plus, they don't have access to your files. You've been reading a lot lately that Apple and, and Google and Microsoft OneDrive and, and the iCloud are going to be scanning through your pictures and looking for bad things. And then if they find bad things, they're going to turn them over. And you don't have to worry about that. Megasync keeps you locked down and encrypted end to end. And you got NitroShare. Thunderbird email and Zoom pre-installed. So if you're in business and you have to have Zoom calls, it's right here pre-installed on PC Linux OS. Office out of the box, you get LibreOffice. You get KCalc, Ocular, and Scrooge Software Center. You got LibreOffice Manager, Localization Manager, Virtual Box Manager, Synaptic Package Manager, and Sound, Elisa, K-Wave, Pithos, Pulse Audio, Sound Converter, Spotify, VLC Media Player video you've got handbrake Caden live downloaded out of the box so you can go straight into doing video editing you got video downloader and VLC media player and then you've got power on power off I'm gonna have to say not having seen PC Linux OS in quite a while I'm very very impressed I hope you guys like this video if you would please like and subscribe if you got suggestions on things you'd like to see me cover in future videos drop it down in the comments below don't forget that if you like and subscribe, you get entered into the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that we're doing on August 31st, 2021. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.